welcome. You've got dads. All right, so uh, we are picking off, uh, picking up from our third date, uh, which was with Joseph. Um, and what I mean is not Joseph's third date, but our third date with all the dads. Uh, you know, their third first date. Oh, this is so confusing. Anyway, uh, we just went on our first date with Joseph, which is our third date with all the dads all together. Um, and I input uh, the remaining dads, Robert, Matt, Craig, and Damien, into a uh, randomized generator. And who popped out that I will date next is Craig. Now, to explain the uh, pun title of this episode, uh, I think I con, I think I con. It's pretty basic. I honestly don't remember where this pun comes from. I'll have to research it. But uh, it's pretty well known, and Craig's last name, as you can see, is Khan. So there you have it. So let's look at uh, Craig's profile. Um, Craig is actually the dad who has the second most uh, amount of children. He has three. He's a business entrepreneur, and we all know that you know he's a jock. Which I think is, is kind of neat. Um, he's really trying to balance his life, and compared to supposedly how he was when we knew him in college, when the dad's son and knew him in college, you know, he's gotten things together, he's responsible because he's, you know, a dad, he's uh, innovative because he's an entrepreneur, and he's uh, self-aware, I guess you could say, because he's trying to improve himself. So, uh, being true to his jock uh, identity, uh, he's all about that cardio, all about the gym. Same thing. I mean, a box of energy bars, I guess, could serve you on a desert island. I don't think it would serve you for long. I don't think energy bars are going to provide enough nutrition, but okay. No. Just no. They're, like... Running a mile in under six minutes? Ooh, no. I'm just trying to imagine, like, ten-year-old Craig thinking he wants to be the beer pong world champion growing up. Like, what kind of childhood did Craig have? Like, did he have really, like, party-hardy parents or something? Oh my god. I do for- I, like, I can totally see this. I totally see Craig being the guy into those super cheesy buddy cop movies. Um, thing is, rock climbing is something I like. I'm not good at it by any means, uh, but I think it's pretty interesting. So that does sound like a good date, I guess. I'm guessing energy gel is hair gel? I'm gonna hope so. Um, he does have good hair, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's a good quaff. And, uh... Yeah, that's something uh, I think a lot of people worry about as they get older. I know I do sometimes, is you wonder, like, have you peaked? Like, is this as good as you're gonna get before everything just starts going downhill in your life? Which is just... It's a pessimistic way of viewing things. But I understand it. Anyway, let's get it on with uh, our first date with Craig. What kind of dad tip is that? This is like Craig's dad tip. I'm sure he wrote that one. I'm sure Mary wrote this one. Oh, and something I actually noticed uh, looking at the screen earlier is the cacti. They kind of look like a dick. Like here's here's the here's the wing, here's the balls. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but yeah.
I have this feeling that Amanda has, like, just issues with reality. Because she saw herself in a dragon costume in the very beginning, uh, like a Halloween picture from when she was a kid. And she thought the dragon was real and she was being, being eaten by the dragon because she saw herself in the mirror. And now she thought her dad was a gigantic sentient softball. Like, how in touch with reality are you? Oh. <sighs> well, that's not really different from my relationship with softball. I personally don't care for it either. Hmm. safe for him to be carrying the river like that in a softball game? Like, I know he's not actually playing the game, but isn't there, like, a possibility that he is the coach who is going to be on the field, obviously? Um, isn't there a possibility that river can still get hit by, you know, like, a flying bat or a flying softball? That's cute though. They have a pancake as their mascot. I don't know. Huh? Ah. Um, usually, what people say, because my dad and my brother used to play like church softball. And that's usually what people said. Like, my mom and my aunt, they would cheer on from the stands. I would go wander off because I didn't give a crap about it. Like, it didn't interest me. But this is something they would say. trying to figure out exactly how you could do that though like backflip off a roof so my guess is just like a one-story house um maybe two at the most um into a pool which isn't that hard you know i'm hoping it's a below ground pool because if it's an above ground pool that's just a bad idea um but how can you do that while shotgunning a beer like as you're flipping you're not going to be able to uh Kind of keep the beer steady so you're just gonna like spill it all over yourself to reiterate though like I love his his normal sort of smile he just looks really handsome oh it is a little weird when the dads do I don't think the 
game developers really kind of planned out how dad's reactions would go. I just think they put in an algorithm that would say, okay, dad reacts to this, dad reacts to that, but they never plan what reaction. So the reaction Craig just had is one that seems kind of like he's turned on, which is not really appropriate for this moment, I don't think. And I've noticed it in other dad date scenarios, like with Brian and Hugo and uh, Joseph. So it's just, uh, it's a bit odd sometimes. Mm. I like how all of Joseph's kids kind of have his sort of smushy buttony nose. Like Craig's nose is more defined. Like it's it's not as smushed. But like his twins have a smushed nose. The baby kind of has a smushed nose. It's like really cute. Thirsty's pizza. Like, thirsty, like, I'm thirsty for Craig thirst. I mean, it's true, but who would name a pizza place Thirsty's pizza? Oh. She's seen uh, these pizzacos. Oh, I forget the name of the website. Maybe it's like this is why you're fat.com. This was ages ago. Um, they have things like the meat baby, you know, like a, uh, a baby that's made out of ground beef and bacon. It, it was disgusting. They also have like donut hamburgers, you know, where the donut serves as the buns. And I do remember seeing them take like a, a huge, like, tombstone frozen pizza or something. And, uh, Stuffing, you know, meat, uh, yeah, the ground beef, you know, just pizza topping, not pizza toppings, uh, taco fillings inside of it. So I wonder if that's what they ate. And was it like a 12 inch? Was it like, you know, a personal pan? What exactly are we talking about? No, that was a good prime. Hey, give me a pizza bat. I would say five out of five. That's a good, like, it's a classic prime. It's a clever prime. It's not too lame. Congratulations, Craig. You've had your first good prime all day. Oh. This prime, I would put three. It's kind of middle of the road. It's not a high effort prime. It's pretty easy. I can't imagine just sitting in a pizza place, though, eating just salad. Like, pizza is too good to bust, pass up. You cannot uh, deny yourself pizza. It's just too delicious. Hmm. If she's being sincere, this is a nice symptom. Because a lot of uh, single moms, like a lot of their kids don't have a strong male role model. But if she's just being like facetious, just saying this to butter up Craig, then 
Go screw yourself, lady. Oh. Of course, Craig would fist bump. So, unfortunately, there's no answer which will actually lighten the mood for Craig. Like, none of these actually work. Um, I didn't know what smoke screening is, but apparently that's when you try to take the attention and be like, oh, hey, I'm single too. Um, I don't really actually like the Amanda routes because I think they're kind of gross or dumb. So I'm just going to go with the smoke screen. How could you pass up my my dad's son though? He's absolutely adorable. that up. Look at that, you know, nicely, uh, nicely, uh, done graying hair. Look at that, you know, nicely groomed facial hair. Those beautiful green eyes. You know, how could she pass that up? That lovely olive skin tone. Like, how? Oh, no. No. She is straight up tripping. She has no idea what good taste is. I mean, she has good taste in Craig, but she's completely one, you know, one dimensional. She only has uh, tunnel vision. Oh. Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter, but she's not very smart. I think Craig could probably demolish somebody at DDR. He definitely seems like he could do that. I don't know. Huh. I kind of wish they made pinball a mini game in this game, though. That's if I remember correctly, Craig is one of the dads that actually doesn't have a mini game at all. Ugh. kind of a guilt trippy thing to say because it's just it seems like so much work to watch after his kids he doesn't owe you anything for that lady like you need to keep your hoo-ha in your pants he does not owe you anything he is single dad he is trying to do his best keep keep your uh, snatchy snatch you know keep it away you're not owed this hmm. <laughs> yes, Amanda, tell that hoe. Tell that hoe. Ugh. Um, if I was in the dad's so in this position right now, I'd be like, you have complete permission to say, you know, stuff that's gonna hurt her feelings. You have my absolute permission. Go ham. Just go off. Bro. Huh? 
She's such a good hmm. wingman, though. Like, Amanda knows when to leave you be with the other dads. Something I wanted to talk about, though, is just, like, Craig wears sweatpants all the time. And sweatpants aren't exactly the best thing to wear if you want to avoid attention, if you know what I mean, because they don't leave a lot to the imagination. It's just like, you're almost bringing yourself, bring it on yourself a little bit here, Craig. Like, just a little bit. <laughs> oh. Yes, this is how catch works for me too. Hmm. Like I did with Brian, asking about the kids is always nice. Although part of me wants to talk about things that aren't monopolizing Craig's life. Like, I'm sure he would actually love to talk about things that, you know, he's not always focusing on every single moment. He's always focusing on his kids, his business, and, you know, just doing dad stuff. And fitness as well. But I guess I'll just ask about the kids. really sweet. Um, I don't really know anything about his business, so I'll ask him about it. Bro! Of course you do. Athleisure. Interesting. the only other option. So like I said, Craig is one of the dads which the game kind of nudges you into a good standing with because like notice all of the options of this conversation are good points. Like you can't go wrong with asking about any of these three things. Oh. Interested because you're interested in the dad so no. Oh. Dick? Oh. Oh, peace and quiet. Well, that's a good second. Nice. Well, you know, that is good sexual fantasy. Sleeping in any day is a good sexual fantasy. Oh. It's, I don't know, it's kind of funny that he says this, but at the same time, like, knowing that you could end up dating Craig, I guess it's the sense that this is what he thinks he wants, but with the right person, he recognizes that he can, you know, have it all, essentially. I don't know. 
and in that regard uh you know the dad's son is good because he's not technically a stranger like he doesn't know them that well but he's not a stranger to craig's life whatsoever and he has met uh hazel and briar before albeit when they were very very young but he's not entirely a stranger oh Um, yeah, I think the right person will come along eventually. And eggplants galore. Oh. Was planned. I mean, well, this is such a vague answer. This is not an answer. But I, I mean, it could challenge Craig, but I don't think that he would go for it. Uh, I don't really want to shrug it off because we all know that was not planned. I am not that coordinated with softball. Yeah, I do feel like I've earned, you know, a kiss from Craig. Hmm. It's Craig that's really hot, not the not the softball lights, and maybe me to a bit, but it's definitely Craig. Hmm. Hmm. Bro. imagine that like Craig is a police officer I think it could be cute I don't think he has enough uh, sternness to be a good police officer but I think he'd just be way too friendly and way too um, way too sympathetic so it's like I'm trying to imagine Craig pulling somebody over and writing them you know a speeding ticket and you know they could just easily butter him up and get out of it I think he'd be a bit of a pushover. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. a good uh, goal though sitting on a pile of money with you know being surrounded by dogs and having a good relationship with the people you love he cries so easily oh my god oh no Just like back in college. I've missed you, dude. 
Yeah, I expected this much with Craig, though. Welcome! You've got dads! Alright, and that ends our... Another one of our first dates. So, next time, it'll be either Matt, Damien, or Robert. Uh, tune in to find out, I guess. I'll probably put it into another random generator again. And we'll see uh, who fate decides. Alright, bye. Thank you.